Well, have you seen this dog? That's the question that's been on Bernie Daly's mind for nearly five months now. His trusted companion and best friend Otto escaped in April and hasn't been seen since. Today is Mr. Daly's 90th birthday, and all he really wants is his dog back. We are joined now by Bernie Daly and his daughter, Deb Deal. First of all, Bernie, we thank you for your service, a Korean War veteran, and happy birthday to you, sir. Thank you. Deb, can you tell me what happened? He was bringing Otto in from when they were outside. He was bringing him in through the garage, and as he reached for the door handle, he's partially disabled. His cane was in the same hand, and he accidentally hit the garage door opener with his cane. The dog went under the door and he ran off. He was seen about 15 minutes later at 79th and Harlem by the White Castle. And they couldn't get him into their car, the people that saw him. And he trotted down the sidewalk southbound and he vanished. No one, no one saw him after that. Anywhere. Since April 4th. Yes. There have been no, no sightings of him that were verified. None. Uh, Mr. Daly, can you tell me what Otto, uh, your dog, what, what Otto meant to you? Well, he's just my partner. I mean, every morning I'd wake up and he'd be right there. And if I'd be sitting in the rocker watching TV, he would be sitting next to me. Or I'd say, go get your toy. And he'd go upstairs and get a toy. And I'd say, no, not that one, the round one. And he'd go up there and he'd get the round one, and then we'd play. So then him missing, my wife passed away earlier, and then he ran away. So, I mean, even if my wife was still here, I mean, I'd still miss him because my wife and I loved him. He was, very, he was a very devoted dog, and he was with me and my wife all the time, you know. Well, he means a lot to me. I'd like to have him back. Four months now since Otto ran off. And, and you still look out that picture window, open to see him? Yeah, I still do. I mean, he was just a devoted dog, and he was a very friendly dog, you know. But he was devoted to, his, to my wife and I, you know. And I think when he did run away... I don't know if it was that he was looking for my wife, you know, because when my wife went to the hospital, she was there and then she passed away and she never came home. So I don't know if he went running around looking for her because he was so devoted, you know, because in his eyes, she left and never come back. And he might be thinking, where is she, you know? And then maybe that's why he ran away and then someone picked him up, you know. But he was a very good dog. Mr. Daly, would you call Otto your, your best friend? Yes, I would. Yes. I think he would do anything for me if I was in trouble. And I know I would do anything to help him. You guys are offering a reward now, $2,000, no questions asked. You just want the dog. We just want the dog back. If you've been keeping him safe, thank you. We appreciate that. We just want him back. We won't ask anything. If, if you could say one thing, a hypothetical, the, the person who may have your dog, what would you say? I would say, would you please give him back to me? Because I miss him and I love him. And hope that that person would be kind enough, you know, kind enough to give him back to me. I would say the same, please. please Thank you, why you wished me a happy birthday. I forgot to tell you. Thank you. Happy birthday, and thank you for your service. Well, thank you for joining us also on the stream. We hope for the best outcome. We'll get this story out there and keep our fingers crossed. Thank you to you both, and we hope to run a good update very soon. Thank you. That would be wonderful. Thank you, Thank you so much. We appreciate it.
Fantastic family, we recorded that. If you've seen auto, please call 708-921-9781 or even contact us here at the station. We'll call them and let them know. Like daughter Deb said, there's a $2,000 reward for a safe return, no questions asked.